Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is part four of my affiliate marketing course, zero to 10K. In the last video, we set up our two-step funnel. Today, we're going to be connecting our autoresponders. Now, since we're using system, the autoresponders are built into the software, so this makes it very simple. Now, the autoresponders are going to be our automated email sequence, which starts after people opt in to our squeeze page. After that, they're going to receive typically one email a day from us for the next uh, seven to 10 days. And each one of these emails is going to have an affiliate link sending people back to the video sales page. Most affiliate programs will provide you with email swipes. Legendary Marketer does give you pre-written emails that work very well. However, I'm going to give you my own personal email swipes, which you can use. You don't wanna just copy and paste these emails and leave them as they are. I definitely recommend going through and rewriting them, putting them in your own words so it feels like you're the one actually speaking to your audience rather than me. It's very important to tell your own story. Obviously, you can't tell my story in your emails, so make sure you share your own personal struggle and your own experiences with your audience. Avoid sending spammy emails. You want to focus on building a relationship with the people on your list. Remember, if you can build a long-term relationship with these people on your list, they can potentially be customers for your affiliate links for many years to come. In order to send professional emails on an autoresponder, you will need to pay for a domain name. Luckily, this is very affordable, typically under $20 for a year. I paid $12 for my domain and I only have to renew it once every 12 months. There's a few different places you can purchase a domain from like GoDaddy or Namecheap.com. I personally purchased mine from Google Domains. Now we're back into system. I renamed the funnel LM for Legendary Marketer. Now, if we go up here to emails, we can create an email campaign by clicking on campaigns. We're going to hit create. And the name of our campaign, we'll just call it legendary. And you're the only one who sees this, so it really doesn't matter. And just hit save campaign. The next thing we're going to do is click on the name of the campaign and we can start adding our emails. Um, sender name, this is the name uh, that people are going to see in their inbox. So it's gonna, I'm going to put my name. You would obviously put your own name. Um, the subject line, I'm just going to make it say, let me introduce myself for now. And sender email address, I'm going to show you something. So this is my personal email um, at a Yahoo address. If I hit create, it's not going to work um, because you cannot use Yahoo accounts. You can't use Gmail accounts. You need to have a professional email address from your own personal domain uh, so that's why you do need to purchase a domain in order to do this step correctly. So I entered my professional email address here, jacob at earningsclick.com. This is the domain that I own, so I'm able to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how you can set this up easily with Google Domains in just a moment. Um, first of all, I would avoid using the visual editor. It gets a little complicated. I would stick to the classic editor. It's much easier to work with. And then we hit create and we have our email. So basically we would go in here and write our email. Now I have pre-written email scripts you can use. So I'm gonna give you a link to this Google document where you can just copy and paste these email scripts. But remember, you wanna go through and rewrite them, um, put them in your own words so it has your own original voice in the emails. So to start, I'm just gonna copy and paste these right into the email box here. Um, as you can see, um, there's a few places where you need to go in and edit, make edits. Um, so obviously we want to remove this part that says a link to the sales page, um, but then we want to put our affiliate link right here. Now I'm inside the legendary marketer back office. I'm going to click on account affiliates, go down to funnels, uh, the business challenge to affiliate links, and I'm going to get the affiliate link for the sales page, I'm going to copy it back into my emails. And right here is where I'm gonna put the affiliate link. So we just highlight it. And there should be a little chain link button right here. Hit that. And then you put the URL for your affiliate link. Uh, there might already be an affiliate link there. So make sure that you replace it with your own affiliate link. So you get the credit for any sales. Um, so let's, let's see, I'm gonna go through this. Hi, my name is your name. Obviously you wanna write uh, your own name. You can do your first or full name. Go down, share a quick story about being overworked. So obviously you need to share a little story about yourself. Also insert a picture of yourself. That's optional. You can remove that part if you want, but it does help build um, a better relationship with your email list. Um, another picture here, you can do that as well. Um, I'm a pretty average guy or girl, whichever you are. 
which lives in, for me, it's Connecticut. So you would, you know, put your own place and you go through. Here's a quote from Robert Bennett. You know, you can change the email, move it around, make it look a little better. If anything is in this email you don't like, you can take it out. If you think you have a better idea for what to say, um, by all means, go for it. Um, and right here, there's another spot for an affiliate link. So I'm going to do the same thing, highlight it, click on the chain link here and replace it with our affiliate link and hit OK. Uh, make sure you remove this part. Um, you know, make sure you go through this all and proofread it. Make sure it looks um, as good as possible. Shears, uh, your name. And that's it for the first email. Now we're going to, you know, make sure the subject line is what you want it to be. And you're going to hit save and publish um, days before sending email. So let's, let's wait one hour uh, before sending the email after they sign up. So time when email should be sent. Um, any time is fine. Days of the week, any day of the week is fine. And we're going to hit publish. And you would essentially do that exact same thing a few times over and over. So we're going to add a second email, um, sender name, the same name as before, um, the sender address, Jacob at earnings click, um, the subject line, uh, let's see, so I'm going to go back to our email sequence, go to the second email where it says wait one day, subject line, so what did you think? I'm just going to copy that, put it right there, classic editor, and create our second email. And here we go, we can just go back to our, um, our email scripts and make sure we uh, copy the whole thing. And we're going to go back into system and paste our email. And then obviously go through each email, make sure you insert your affiliate links wherever you can. And then um, you can also save it and send a test email to make sure it looks good. You can send it to your own personal email address. I definitely recommend doing that for each email you create. Um, but then finally, save and publish. Um, so we want this to go out one day later. So they get the first email just about an hour after they enter their email, and then they get this second email the next day. And we're going to hit publish. Now we have two emails so far. The first one sends out an hour after they opt in, and the second email sends out a full day later. These stats right here are super important. They're going to show you how many people open your emails and how many people click on the links in your emails, how many people total, and how many as a percentage of your list. Um, so this is going to show you how effective your emails are working. Obviously, the higher your open rate and the higher your click-through rate is better. Um, so if you see any of your emails with a really low open rate, uh, maybe you should go and try to write a better headline. If you have a really low click-through rate, you might need to adjust what's written in the email to inspire people to actually take action. Now I'm going to show you one super important step that you cannot miss. Um, so I'm going to go back into funnels, the funnel we created. I'm just going to click on the funnel here and make sure you're on the squeeze page and you need to select automation rules going to add a rule and funnel step form subscribed. Now we're going to add action and subscribe to campaign and choose our campaign. This is the campaign we just set up and hit save rule. So now when people enter their email on our form, on our opt-in page, they will actually um, sign up for our email campaign and they'll start receiving our automated email sequence. If you skip this step, then when people enter their email on your squeeze page, it's not going to do anything. They're just going to send their emails into a black hole. Now, one last thing we want to do to make sure our emails get delivered is go up into settings on the top right, click on mailing settings, and we need to set up a domain authentication to improve our email deliverability. So you want to click on setup where it's in blue and I'm going to enter in my domain name, which is earningsclick.com. And it's going to give us C name records. I'm going to show you what you do with these right now. So I've signed into my Google domains account. I'm on my domain, which I own earningsclick.com. I'm going to click on DNS. Now this might look slightly different depending on where you buy your domain name from, but it's pretty much the same process overall. So I'm going to go back to system. And you want to copy and paste these things where uh, they tell you to in the DNS. So we're going to create a record, a CNAME record with this name. So we just copy this, go into Google Domains. Uh, this is where the name goes. So we paste the name, make sure this is CNAME. And then here where it says domain name, this is the data. This is the value that we need to copy and paste uh, right here. 
So we take that and we paste it right. We just hit paste and enter that there. We add it in and you have to do that all three times for each one of these. So I'll do it one more time in front of you. I'm going to copy this one. Just copy it, um, paste it right here, and then select C name, and then take the value key on the right and put this right here where it says domain name. Everything else you keep the same and you add. And I guess I'll do the last one in front of you too since this only takes a moment. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, copy the last one, and we're going to paste it. And make sure you select C name here with this drop down and add. Now this typically takes about an hour or two to actually settle in and um, see it says they'll take effect within the next 48 hours. Uh, so be patient, it might take a day or two, but that's pretty much exactly what you need to do. Now while I'm in Google Domains, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up a professional email. We just head over to the email tab on the left. Um, we can add an email Elias here on the bottom and we can create whatever professional email we want. I'm just going to write this uh, funnel test at earningsclick.com and what you can do is forward this to one of your own personal email addresses. So I'm just going to forward this to Jay Mitchell at Yahoo and now we have a new professional email um, which forwards any emails we may receive to our personal email. Um, usually when you're signing up for some sort of email autoresponder software they'll ask you to enter your email and then they'll send you a confirmation email. Um, so when you do this it will just forward that confirmation email to your personal inbox and then you can hit confirm. So I'm back in system. We just added these records to our DNS zone. Now it might take a moment to uh, confirm, like see it says pending, give it a day or two and then check back. If you're having issues, you can contact support uh, through system or through whatever domain provider you're using. I'm also going to put my professional email here just in case, jacob at earningsclick.com and the sender name being my name. And I have a test email address set up. That's my personal email address. Um, you definitely want to test all your emails before you send them out. So it's already set to automatically send a test email when saving a newsletter. Um, display your affiliate link at the end of each email. You can do that if you want. It really doesn't make a difference. Somebody might click on it and sign up for a system plan and you would get paid a commission if that happens. Congratulations guys, you made it to the end of module four. Obviously you need to go through and add all the emails, not just the first two, but it's the same process every single time. Remember to go through and rewrite the emails and put things in your own words. And don't forget to include the affiliate links in all the emails you send out. In the next video, I'm gonna go over how you can start driving traffic to your funnel and scale up. If you're enjoying the course, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.